Hi, this is Dave Stewart of TeachingTheCore.com. I just want to talk to you real quickly about how I grade reading for meaning statements. Reading for meaning, if you're not familiar with it, is just a, um, a strategy outlined in the Core 6, a book available on Amazon, not my book. It's by some other very intelligent guys from ASCD. And um, basically, some folks have asked, how do you grade those reading for meaning statements? So. This is what I do, and take it for what it's worth. Let me just, you know, use my production crew here to get to get turned around. Yep, yep, just like that. No, nope. no, nope. that's actually super blurry. Um, okay. Riding the struggle bus at the moment, but we're gonna get it here. There we go. So here's a reading for meaning page. You can see this is uh, what I've used for an article of the week. Um, so we've got some statements here. So here's how I would simply grade this. Um, basically, there are two things I want to see. One, I want to see that students are comprehending it and um, the statement, and and so uh, correctly uh, determining if the statement is uh, true or false, or if it's agreeable or disagreeable. Obviously, some statements are could be designed to promote controversy or to to cause students to take a stand, and so they could technically be yes and no, and in those cases, I would I'd grade that accordingly. But basically, first, I would just give a point if they kind of correctly identified this. Does the text, because this is what this about is about, does the text support or refute the statement? So for this statement, students will well, oh, there's a typo. The United States, United States students could actually perform higher than their international peers by practicing learning strategies. They get a point for identifying if this article um, agreed or disagreed with that statement, and then they'd get a point for using textual evidence that does, in fact, support their choice over here. So um, that's basically it. This would, this would be kind of an eight-point or a four point if you did a half point for each one. Um, that's the, the real simple way that I grade reading for meaning statements um, when I'm trying to determine and give students feedback on whether or not one, they correctly identified whether the statement was supported or refuted by the text, and then two, did they use textual evidence to support that statement. You could dig in deeper if you wanted students to, for example, blend a quote here or correctly cite a quote. Um, you could look for other skills on this, obviously, but that would kind of fall more into the realm of writing, which is fine. It's just um, usually I'm using the reading for meaning to simply um, identify whether or not students sort of comprehended the text and, um, and were able to marshal the text to refute or support a claim. If you guys have any questions or anything, just throw it in the comments of this video or uh, head over to teachingthecore.com and, and ask me. Have a good one.